bigger fish. Some Jurassic World Evolution 2 news and showcase. So the new DLC, the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack, has now released. And um, yeah, that, we're going to check it out, see the new species in action. Uh, I'm not going to be killing anything. Um, yeah, this is one time only, no killing. Well, actually, for the species pack, we didn't kill any of those. So, um, yeah, we're not killing anything anymore. So, um, I'm sorry to those people who really wanted to see things die, but, um, I don't want to see things die. These are nice animals. And we're going to start with one of my favorites and a newcomer from Camp Cretaceous, um, outside of the Camp Cretaceous DLC, what those, um, future... <laughs> species are gonna be doing um, in a different pack? I don't know. Like, what are they gonna be in? We'll find out. I've got another video coming up, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts on the Nothosaurus um, being included here are. So let's check out the Nothosaurus. <laughs> legs i said no it's staying in the water i don't want to be receiving reports of it running rampant in the sewers showing up in elevators nothosaurus <laughs> not a chance okay that is a nice characterization reference there for those who haven't watched season five where nothosaurus appeared yeah it had something to do with some sewers and some and, and some elevators so just a heads up there I love the detail on the scales too, like look at all the individual scales. I'm so glad they went to such detail when bringing Nothosaurus into the game. Because yeah, it looked fantastic. I wasn't a fan of um, its design the show, but seeing it here in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is actually making me like it a bit more. Because um, Season 5 is not my favourite season of Camp Cretaceous, but... Um, I will say, Nothosaurus was a fantastic addition, and um, I am interested to see what the other Season 5 creatures, how they're going to be integrated. Okay, got a couple, oh, one at the surface here, so we go over the new viewing dome. Um, wait, he's going to be over here. Where is he? <laughs> I love the glass floor here and the wood. Oh, there's some. There's another source. Yeah, this is just a fun thing to have. Just a nice, cool attraction for guests to get a great. Ooh, hang on. We got another source coming to land. Oh, and there's one over there too. And over there, they emerge. You are loud, boys. Oh, going back to the water, are we? Okay. You know, the Nothosaurus really has that look of, like, those really old dinosaur illustrations of, like, how we thought marine reptiles looked. Just like a pause you before you go into the water. Like, it's got that thin head, the long neck, the short tail, the legs. Yeah, Jurassic World really went for, like, that classic uh, marine reptile look or, like, dinosaur look back in the day. It just looks like an odd, oversized reptile. Yeah, a very cool-looking reptile, nonetheless. But look at that. Fantastic, that is. Um... I'm going to release a couple more because Nothosaurus does have a bioluminescent skin, as well as two bioluminescent skins. Thing is going on there. Yes. 
So, if I have a look at our resources here, so this guy's got a nice white stripe. Got a nice white stripe there. Oh, there's his own interaction. Two very similar looking Nerthosaurus. Got a nice white and blue. Very dark blue. Dark green stripe. A bright yellow stripe. Oh, there's another social interaction happening over there. the last ones um just to complete the wigging that's what that that is to speed it up oh, the blank one here no that's sort of blank doesn't actually look too bad We'll see if we've got any bioluminescent ones. Let's uh, switch it to night. And I'll just switch it back to Jurassic World lighting. So, any glowies? Yeah, I, I clicked the blank one, didn't I? Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, there we are. Nice. Look at that. Beauties. Oh, we can see them in the water. There is a pink one. This is meant to be a pink one. Love the lights too of the uh platform. A sort of light light bioluminescence, or it's just bright color. Yeah, so you got that bright blue bioluminescence. Is that no cool? Hang on, here we go. We do have a pink one. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. We need more bioluminescent creatures in the game. Like, seriously, it looks so cool. I wonder I was out, barely able to find it. A pink stripe boy is a good fish. Yeah, so, okay. Brace your eyes. I'm gonna switch it back to day. And. Oh, hang on, it's not too bad. Uh, might just see if I can get it to a better time. Uh, yeah, not 24 hours. Uh, let's try 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes cycle. Okay, let's have a look at our second semi-aquatic. Archelon. about the animals that have inhabited this planet the longest, it's normally the likes of crocodiles and sharks that spring to mind first. But Earth's prehistoric waters were also home to some mighty impressive turtle species, just like this one, the Archelon. Yeah, it is very impressive. Now I know that the head looks very similar to that of just socializing. Here we go. Oh, it's going down. Oh, look at it fly. Oh, right in front of the fish. Oh, and like bumps it and then dies out. Oh. Isn't that nice? Oh, so 
Just a few more to increase the chances of seeing them merge. Keep hanging around here. Um, yeah, so. Oh, hang on, here we go. Arc 1 4 is emerging. Oh, that looks convincing too, like, look at that. This is such a big danger. Just allowing aquatic species to get out of the water. Just hang out. Next step is just getting them onto land. <laughs> like, I mean, this is a form of land, but it's that land I'm talking about. Like, specifically Nosphosaurus. Now, the lagoon walls are certainly too high for. Is that floating fish? Might have been. But if you look at the knife source, it's all the ball. <laughs> oh, no. you can clearly see that the lagoon wall is probably a bit too high for them. Ooh. Oh, I know they said you were like sea lions, but you're certainly in lava. There you go. The yeah, so, this guy here. So, I mean, you could almost make it work. Um, like, it's not that big of a difference in terms of his size compared to the lagoon wall. But, hmm, it's... It's a curious beast, this. <laughs> like, it could possibly, like, get some uh, get some acceleration and get up there. But th then you got the fence as the problem. Like, it's designed to prevent that from happening. Like, if we had the option of, like, a lagoon w fence without this, that would be nice. But, um, you can, I can understand why. But if the water was higher, you know, like, a little bit higher, I could certainly see the Nothosaurus getting out as much more of an, an easier thing to tackle, but, um, yeah. Unfortunately, no, but, um, nonetheless, we may get, get eventually, oh, turtle interaction happening over there. Look at them all. <laughs> I'll do that before. Way! Oh, he's coming around for the social. See it from a distance. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> as one gets off, another takes its place. Hydra turtles, these are. Now, I, I might just release a Tylosaurus because, well, you don't really get to see Tylosaurus too often. And for those who have watched Sea Monsters, Tylosaurus was the Mosasaur that um, Archelon would, would have lived with, at least based on that. But then again, um, it's probably outdated by now, but hey, Archelon could have been around for quite a while. Got to see all sorts of Mosasaurs. So let's release these guys. Get these out. Get these, get these guys out. Remember when you were a kid and they told you not to eat, then go in the water? Well, with this predator, the Tylosaurus, if you go in the water, you're gonna get eaten. I mean, seriously, this is every sailor's nightmare come to life. Look at that. Although, Archelon seems too big for the Tylosaurus to tackle. Like, it certainly looks like it could, but the Tylosaurus just seems like it wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that's interesting. 
Like, it's certainly got the capability to take it on, but whether it'd be successful, that's another that's another story. Like, Archelon can swim probably a lot faster. And it's got that huge shell, so... Yeah. Like, I've seen in videos, like, people have tried to... Um, get the Archelon to be eaten. But I don't think they've actually been successful. Like, Tylosaurus clearly can't take that on. But how about we try his cousin? Let's see what Mosasaurus can do. See if um, a far larger Mosasaur can make a difference compared to the Tylosaurus. Oh, look at them all up there. <laughs> they look so nice up there. Tylosaurus is just swimming around. And now a lot bigger. If I could get a Archelon close to a Mosasaurus, like it, you can see from the surface here, Mosasaurus does have a big head, but it doesn't really seem like its head big enough necessarily. Crunch each other there. Can you get close to an Archelon? So it, it doesn't like Tylosaurus, but it doesn't mind an Archelon. But it's not too fussed about it. Okay, there we go. So I just jump back into Captain Mode. I don't know why I got out of it. Yeah. Archelon just seems too big for the Mosasaurus to really take on. Like, the head is about as big as the shell, if not a little bit shorter. So, you could say it kind of makes sense as to why Mosasaurus can't really take on Archelon. There's like, in Sea Monsters, there was an Archelon body that was chomped in half by a giant Mosasaurus, not Mosasaurus, but um, Tylosaurus. And, um, yeah, it's really curious that, well, actually, it could have been easily Mosasaurus, given that Mosasaurus did live to the very end of the Cretaceous. Yeah. But, um, just, um, to get something out of the way, um, Mosasaurus and Tylosaurus do not have social interactions, unlike pretty much every other marine reptile now, or, like, marine species, so that is a bit of a shame. But, um, yeah, I can, I can understand, I can't actually, I can't understand why, like, he gave everything else it, like, even Dunk the Osseus has a social interaction, it's a fish. Um, yeah, so we'll get to the, all the other marine reptiles in a sec, but, um, let's have a look at Shonisaurus. Now, I've, I've seen the animation for this, so I kind of don't want to miss it. the long, long jaws, the pattern here, the cute little eyes, look at his little eyes, um, and the big fins too, very cool, and the relatively small tail, very big sickle, sickle shaped tail, much like what Dunkley Osseus was thought to have had for a while, oh jeez, <laughs> Um, yeah, let's release two more. One of the largest known ichthyosaurs to have ever lived, Chonisaurus is a scientist's dream. Years of studying their fossil remains from research. Confident dream, the division nonetheless. And now we see it realized before our very eyes, ready to show the world. Big 
battle with you saw. Never thought I'd see the day. Ooh, socializing. Yes, please. Are you coming along? Might be at the bottom. Yeah, that's just like the tease that we got. Remember that, guys? <laughs> when we thought Dumpty Ostius was Megalodon. I'll just release it. I kind of just want to see it from there. big ichthyosaur and can act as that big peaceful reptile in your, in your lagoon and that's certainly all I would do with it pretty much but um yeah let me know what you think of shiny source do you like it more um than what it's showing um but hey it's a very nice animal and we've wanted another ichthyosaur for a, quite a while Hang on. Like, look at it in comparison. It's a very beautiful animal, no, no doubt about that. Oh, I should have just stopped him when he got to the right time of day. Although, considering what we're going to see next, it's probably good that it's dimming light. We're going to have a look at Dunkleosteus. Whatever you do, do not write off the Dunkleosteus as just a big fish. There's no teeth, just two pairs of bony plates. And without warning, they can snap shut with the bite force greater than a wolf, greater than a lion, greater than an Allosaurus. So keep your toes out of these waters, all right? This one looks very similar to the sea monsters one. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought we were going to get a social interaction. Don't you just have a, the prettiest face in the world? That was sarcasm, by the way. I mean, you are a very impressive looking animal. Not pretty to look at straight on. I don't know, did Dr. Ossius have nostrils? I don't know. Certainly had eyes. <laughs> I can confirm that. But another thing I can confirm is that Dunkleosteus likes fish. And big fish. Let's have a look at it. Eat the shark. Is this going to do it? Just wait a second. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Are you going to do it? Come on. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, so that one's not... Okay. Well, let's release the other Dunk the Osteos anyway. That's some amazing that is. That goes hard. It's really cool, though. I don't think I'll see this with a cannibal, right? I don't know if they've integrated. Oh, wow. Lighting. Oh, that looks nice. That is some nice lighting. If I've ever seen any. Um. Oh, don't think I'll see this. Swimming past the shark feeder. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Let's get this going down. <laughs> okay. And three, two, one. Ooh, 
Okay. Yep. <laughs> Oh, look at it at night. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, that one was taken too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to come back and get a good shot of that. Because, um, yeah, that looks cool. Look at you. Oh, oh. Yeah, so Dunkleosteus is now the oldest animal in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hey, shotgun. <laughs> Another reference to an older time for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, so Dunkleosteus is from Lake Devonian about 360 million years ago. A very long time ago. Even longer than dinosaurs have been alive. Like, you know how we thought this was Megalodon, there is less time between Megalodon and us, uh, or like Megalodon and the dinosaurs too, than there is the dinosaurs and Dr. Osteus, like, it's insane how much time has passed, it's mind boggling. I think Dr. Osteus is heading for a, another shark. Now, I know it comes up pretty quick, so, um, try and be ready this time. Uh, just keep waiting and waiting. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I love that. That animation is so good. <laughs> Look at that little Cretaceous, um, Cretaceous C over here and our Notosauruses. Oh, bio oh, here we go. We got both bioluminescent guys. Just, oh, hang on. Oh, I think this might be the social track. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so Nothosaurus and Archelon both have land and water social interaction. So, if I can find an Archelon coming up to another one. Oh, I can. Yeah, I'd like to. Anyone wanted to come up on the same ramp? Yeah, but I'm sure another Archelon might surface to try and take the spot of another one. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. We might be able to catch it another another point, but um, we've got this guy coming up. Oh, you're a nice blue color. I'm a sucker for blue things, and a big blue turtle is no exception. Hopefully, day will be coming along soon, so we'll be able to see the more whales of this and in sharks light. that grace our seas today are often dwarfed by some of the colossal aquatic species that held dominion over the oceans millions of years ago. Held dominion, eh? <laughs> we got another turtle emerging. But none so far, like, trying to take the spot of another one, which is where we'll find that other social interaction. That we have not seen just yet. Three on one rock. Need to keep my eyes out for movement. Mosasaurus was thought to have hunted near the surface of the water, where it preyed on anything it could sink its teeth into, including turtles, large fish, and even smaller mosasaurs. But what about this turtle, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Just gonna ignore that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm probably gonna be waiting here. A oh, here we go. Two turtles coming at once. But, um, not in the same spot. Bugger. That turtle's going off, and that turtle's also going off. 
Yeah, so I don't think we're going to get the social interaction just yet. Like, these guys are beginning to move. So I don't think we're going to do the social interaction. I mean, I could speed it up and see what happens. Let's see. What developments occur? Bell coming out. The largest species of turtle to have ever graced our planet's oceans, the Archelon dwarfs its modern-day counterparts. Yet a lightweight and buoyant frame allows this marine marvel to glide through the water with mesmerizing ease. Okay, well, I think we're going to move on to um, the rest of the marine reptiles and see what their social interactions are. Nice. Okay, so this is Dixosaurus from the Lake Cretaceous um, pack. Let's see if we can get any social interactions out of them. Hopefully, I mean, it's relatively small for, for a lagoon, so trying to encourage it here. Um, come on, come on. Come on, you know you want to. Come on then. Um, yeah, if I keep it sped up, it should happen. Oh, hang on. We're all together here, but that's no social interaction. Love the bright green of this one. <laughs> But if I had more in here, yeah, that might be the answer. Having more Styxosaurus. And just more of the animals in general. Like Styxosaurus, Elasmosaurus, and that. I only released three. So, maybe if we in increase the number of them, more likely that we're going to get social interaction. Although I could use the new favoriting system of Dinosaur, so that's a new um, feature coming in update. That's coming up page 7. So that can be used to like know when an interaction is taking place. We are pleased to welcome our Not just rely on sheer luck. So social interactions among animals generally happen when new individuals are introduced to a group. So oh, socializing. Hang on. So we're gonna get a social interaction here, are we? Oh yeah, here, here, here comes the other one. Dixosaurus. Oh, just in time for Atavorosaurus, yes. Turning around to Pretty simple one. Um Lasmosaurus. Oh, social. Okay, everything's just social. Oh. Catching them all on the good days. Uh, so this is Plesiosaurus. But the ones close together seem to be more likely to socialize. We've seen what the Plesiosaurus social interaction looks like from the view that was sneak peek. I guess I don't have to show it here, but I would like to give it a try. See if we can get them all in. So, use our little trick of getting more Plesiosaurus. Okay, I'm gonna set it to much longer now so that we can just stay in the daylight because we've had a look at our bioluminescent boys. Let's just stay in the day now. <laughs> Let's get these plesiosauruses done and see if we can see this new social interaction. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 
taken care of. The Dunalized Resource like Pluridon. Okay, that's one I kind of want to see. The Crocodilian um, Marvel. It's a hunting prey. Yeah, why not? And down the gun. Wait, did he get it? Okay, it did. Any of you gonna socialize? I mean, there is a guarantee, of course. <laughs> we will make it happen no matter what. Even though sometimes it's probably gonna happen on its own, but uh, at no expense, eh? <laughs> the Life Floridon actually has one of the coolest animations, like exit animations. But um, yeah, let's see. New introductions go on swimmingly. My life Florida's just covered in scars too. Like every individual's just got scars upon scars. Looks socializing. Hello. <laughs> Fluoridon. <laughs> uh, Ichthyosauruses. What you you socialising looks like? Looks like you're pretty much a reptilian fish. What's your story? <laughs> um. Okay. I'll oh, introduce you to a more and. You're probably gonna get sick of this, aren't you? <laughs> Just seeing me keep going through. Although I do have some other things prepared. So, um, maybe in the meantime, we should talk about a few of the things coming in Update 7. So we've got the custom challenge mode, so you can set up your own challenge modes for your friends with codes that um, you'll be able to send to um, player friends for them to try out, test their park building skills. Um, you've also got the San Diego Amphitheatre, which I, I could actually show off now. There we go. San Diego, San Diego Amphitheatre is placeable on every map now. Um, anything else? Uh, we've also got the custom, like, cosmetic damage. So, um, take our innovation centre here. Make it look damaged, but people can still walk in and out of it. So it's a cool feature, certainly going to be coming useful if you're wanting to recreate Fallen Kingdom um, in terms of like that abandoned main street. And you can also fix your um, mistakes there, so um, it's not permanent, so you can undo it if you wanted to. Uh, so check that out as well, we've done all those. Um, we just haven't done Icky yet, and Chronos. Oh, socialize, hello. Brief, but 
nice. Ah, well, just for these now. Um, so let's check out the last marine reptile to see socialized, Ronosaurus. To the park. Although they are pretty far apart, so... We... Oh, actually, they're getting closer, so... If we speed it up, they may actually... Yes! Ha ha ha! Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> so he's gonna come around. Swim around with the other one. I love seeing the new viewing done. That just looks so cool. There's like just an immersive way to see your marine reptile swimming around. Like that just looks like you're, you're at the world's best aquarium. <laughs> like look at that. You're in a viewing dome and you just got massive chronosaurus swimming around. Oh yeah, there's banners in there, aren't there? Oh, so you got the ichthyosaurus and the mosasaurus there. Well, that's cool. That's a that's a cool sign. I like that sign. Like it a lot. Is there anything else on there? Uh, no, I think are those plesiosaurs? I think that's meant to be actually. I think that's meant to be a plesiosaur. And you got the mosasaur and ichthyosaurus up there. Yeah. But um, yeah. So with the favoriting system, you can favorite individual creatures. So. If I go into the racing, I can favourite our donkey number four here. Actually, he has a pretty cool skin. So, donkey number four has been tagged, and we'll drop the location beacons. Um, so, yeah, so he's got the green heart now, so you're able to see your individual favourite animals. So, um, yeah, that's going to come in super handy if you get really attached to your animals in, in your parks and you want to find which one's your favourite um, you'll be able to do that and just showing you off a another feature with the favouring system you, favorite, you can favourite skins and with favouriting skins you can also release um, your favourite skins as there is now a randomising favourite option so if I go into um, a crossraptor um, which I have not favorited yet, but say if I had, um, you would have, um, I would probably have Ghost, Tiger, Panthera, and Red, have those all favorited, and I'd be able to release them all together. Something I prepared with these Velociraptors. So you can release the whole Raptor Squad together, finally. And not just the Raptor Squad, um, if I finish that up, we can also release the Baryonyx Trio. So we got Grim, Chaos, and Limbo. Wait, oh, there we go. Yeah, you got all three Baryonyxes and you got all four Raptors. But you notice I have a Spinosaurus in here, and that's because Spinosaurus has actually seen a bit of an update. So it um, has had an updated posture, but also a new release animation. Something I would like to catch up here right here. <laughs> That's probably my, one of my new favourite release animations. Just the fact it comes charging out and goes onto all fours. I can't want to see that again. Um, yeah, so if I just scroll back down to Spino. Um, I'll change the skin to like the classic Jurassic Park 3 look. Um, speed up its synthesis and incubation. Oh, this guy's a nocturnal one. Um, leave those guys to 
hang about. So you can see Spinosaurus holds itself a, a, a fair bit higher. It was very much a horizontal walker before. Now it is holding itself a little bit higher. It's also got some new idle animation. So I don't recall ever seeing that one before, so I think, I believe that's new. Fucked. Blue. Yeah, <laughs> Blue's just like, I'm getting out of here. Oh, that. Yeah, so there you go, walking in the new way. That is the, yeah. I mean, everyone was expecting more for the Lagoons particularly, and I certainly was as well, but um, I'm very happy with what we got. Like, the Nothosaurus is probably my favourite creature in the pack, um, just because of how cool it is and the fact it's so accurate to Camp Cretaceous. I mean, I would love it if it could escape and go after dinosaurs and humans, but um, that... Yeah, it's just a very well-made creature and has some of the best social interactions I've seen. And given that it's a new bioluminescent creature is another bonus because we really don't have enough of them. Um, so after Nothosaurus, I would have to say, oh, I think it's a tie between Archelon and Dunkleosteus for my second favourite. Because they're both very well-made creatures. Dunkleosteus in particular really stands out in comparison to the rest of the game. Given it is our only um, usable um, park fish, um, by park fish I really just mean that it's the only one that's able to be released from a hatchery and used as a functional attraction. Um, oh, we haven't even seen the, the social interaction with Donkey here. Um, hunting. Ooh, going for the shark, are you? Oh no, are you going for the regular fish? Yeah, so, I mean, I've seen the animation, so he sort of like bites the tail, and uh, the other one's just like, Oi, what are you trying to do? Eat me? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it'd certainly be interesting if like a Dunk the Osteus went for another Dunk the Osteus. Jeez, look at that, they look like sharks. Even though they're very far from sharks. They're a bony fish and they're proud of it. Placoderm, oh, placoderm, yeah, placoderm, that is it. I thought I said pachyderm for a second, I was just like, they're not, they're not pachyderm. By any sense of the imagination, Ooh, hang on. I thought that was going to be the social interaction there, like, he was swimming very close. Um, but we might be able to see the dunk the osteos go after the shark just one more time. So if we hurry in... Oh, dang it. Ah! Oh, hang on. It hasn't gone there just yet. Coming up. 